defending. You can barricade door and window frames to slow down attackers and cut off the line of sight. You have an unlimited number of barricades, and can barricade as much as you want to secure your position. Barricades have limited durability. A single melee hit from an attacker is enough to break through. Three melee hits and they'll collapse completely. Barricades can also be destroyed by gunfire. Some firearms are more effective than others. For instance, a shotgun is likely to be more efficient than a pistol. Breach charges can easily break through a barricade. Deploy the breach charge, step aside, and trigger it remotely to take out the barricade. Residual smoke and debris will provide some cover as you utilize the new line of sight. Many floors can be partially broken and shot through. For instance, wooden and vinyl floors can be partially destroyed while concrete and marble floors cannot. Floors are only breachable through the trap doors. By detonating a breach charge on the trap door, you can create a passageway to the floor below. Defenders can deploy reinforcements on the trap doors to prevent breaching from the floor above you. Wall properties depend on their material. For instance, drywall or wood walls are destructible. But concrete and metallic walls are not. Breach charges show their full power when deployed on their primary target, walls. Many walls can be breached. Some of the destructible walls can't be entirely demolished, as they are built on metallic frames. Breaking them creates new lines of sight, but they can't be breached. Defenders can protect some of their walls with reinforcements. Attackers can recognize reinforced walls by the anchors used to hold the reinforcement in place. Choose wisely. Unlike barricades, reinforcements are limited to two per defender. 